Morning, everyone. My name is uh, Ryan Kraling. Uh, I live in Ontario, Canada, and in a town called Stouffville. I like it there very much. And um, I just watched a video this morning, and it was uh, an actor by the name of Leonardo DiCaprio, and he was he was conducting a speech and the speech was in the regards of our our world our planet and um, in the state it's in currently and all as you all know I'm sure you've all heard some form of gosh our whole lives we've heard the term global warming and melting polar ice caps and smog and pollution and all the list goes on but we've all sort of well I'll speak for myself but maybe you guys can relate as well but whenever I heard those messages I sort of I heard them and I was moved for five, ten minutes, maybe an hour. But after that, my mind got wrapped up in life as we know it. I forgot all about it. And, uh, you know, I really, I really enjoy this world. I just recently got into hunting and uh, getting outside and enjoying what Mother Nature has given us, gifted us with. I also scuba dive and uh, used to be scared, scared shitless of the water and what's underneath it. But once I took the first few dives and really opened my eyes and, and realized and relaxed and, and actually saw and, and paid attention to the little things under the water, I was really moved and I was really inspired by how complex and how important every little thing is to every other little or big thing. And it's amazing. And it's amazing how delicate it is. So, in saying that, Listening to Leonardo's Leo's speech this morning, it uh, like I said, it moved me, and I felt like I should make a video of my own. And I'm prompting everybody I know, friends and family, to do the same, and give a little speech about how important the world is to them in their own little way, because we can all get wrapped up, and we all do on a daily basis with the small stuff, the irrelevant stuff, when it really when it really gets laid out on the table and uh, compared to what we're actually dealing with, it's minuscule and, and irrelevant. The little things we think are important on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think in, in, in an entirety it's up to us and up to us to influence the people around us, the so-called little guys. It's up to us to make a difference within our own communities and and push for change because we need it. We need it desperately and uh, it, it's not going to be easy. I mean we live in a world where we've depended on things like gasoline and crude oil for everything. You know, cars we drive, clothes we wear, shoes we wear, glasses we wear, sh shops we get our food at. You know, little things, uh, little things will make the world a difference. And some of those things are, you know, cutting yourself, c cut yourself off the grid as much as you can. Um, in little ways, it doesn't have to be drastic, but. You know, whether it's getting some solar panels or or starting to grow your own garden or having your own 
chickens or some livestock. I mean, the world, we used to survive that way, and uh, some of you might think, yeah, you're crazy, Ryan. You know, those are the pioneer days. But I firmly believe that in order for this world to continue and cure itself from what we've done in this industrialization of growth and your Walmarts and your McDonald's and your billboards telling you live this way and you're not cool if you don't and change your style every year because if heaven forbid you don't wear you know something new every year the world's gonna end but anyways I felt moved by Leo's message and again I'm gonna prompt my friends and family to make a video and sit down and, and and think about how important their world is and nature and going out fishing and hunting and enjoying the, the, the views and the trees and the creatures and the air, the fresh air. Think about it. Think about it and make a video too and share it. And uh, maybe, maybe we can change the world. Anyways, have a good day and uh, let's change.